Chapter 8 Feelings Speak Louder Than Words Positive affirmations are statements about yourself and your life that are designed to produce a positive outcome in emotion. As mentioned, how we feel affects the world around us. This is why shifting how we feel can powerfully shift everything else as well. However, this is also why no amount of positive affirmations can create the change you're seeking. Probably sounds contradictory, but it's not. Hear me out. If you're going through intense anxiety and you affirm, I'm relaxed, do you actually feel relaxed? I mean, if that works for you, awesome. If it doesn't, then you are like most people. In this case, it's important to come up with affirmations that help you shift forward. You can't just affirm something that feels like a lie to you and then have a shift in emotion. Affirmations are powerful, but only when we choose ones that feel true or possible to us. The reason we're discussing this now is that in chapter 10, you'll learn what I believe to be one of the most important exercises in the whole book. As part of this exercise, you'll be working on changing beliefs. This is much like writing your own affirmations. If you write an affirmation that you cannot believe in, then your feelings around it will not change. You gotta believe in the affirmation you are writing or saying because really, it's just words, right? It's just words. What makes it real is how you feel. (laughs) Oh, that's a fun rhyme. What makes it real is how you feel. Okay. That goes for pretty much everything. It's not what you say that matters, but how you feel about what you say. If you want to feel peaceful, but you're saying, I feel peaceful, and it just makes you feel resentful that you don't feel peaceful, well, then you're just perpetuating the belief that you're not peaceful. If you want to feel peaceful, but aren't sure if you can feel that way, so you say, I am willing to believe that I can feel peaceful. Now you step into the energy of willingness. If you're willing to have a new belief, anything is possible. I just want you to be aware of this because your body always knows how you feel. You can't trick it. You can't just slap a sticker on it and pretend to feel differently than you do. It's not fair to your emotions anyway. Chapter 10 is all about learning how to shift the feelings, but I want to share this first because I don't want you faking any part of this process. If you're trying to come up with new positive beliefs, it's important to choose wording like, I am willing to believe, or I think it's possible to believe or even I'm ready for a change versus language that simply doesn't feel true to you. Okay, you ready, hero? We'll dive in soon, but first, one more important note in chapter nine. 